Hey y'all. I am going to be antiquing a coffee station that my husband built. So I brought y'all along for the journey. Right now it's just got white paint all over it and it's really quite simple. We're just going to throw some black acrylic on it. Oops. Okay. So we're going to take a little foam brush and we're just going to wipe it in spots. And then you're going to take your rag, which I'm using a sock, and just wipe it off. Just kind of like scrub it off. See? Scrubbing it off. And do that all over. And it just kind of, you know, makes it look old. So it's not so plain and white and new. So I'll just keep doing that in every little section of the entire piece. I'll wipe that on, wipe it on, wipe it on, and then scrub, scrub, scrub. Scrub it off. Oh, that looks amazing, y'all. Spaghetti sauce is in that cabinet right there. David's cooking dinner. I'm so excited. I love his cooking. All right. This is coming along nice. You pretty much really don't want to put the paint on until you're ready to scrub it off because you don't want it to dry. It has to be wet to scrub off. So this last piece has got like too much black on it. A lot of times it's good to have one of those steel wire brushes that helps a lot too. Yeah. That helps a lot because it puts, you know, the, what's it put in it? It puts in the bristles, make, you know, indentions into your wood, which helps to stress it to make it look old. And that's what we're going for here is that old look. So, let me show y'all what I've got done. Okay, see? Just makes it look old, distressed, antique, weathered. That's a good word. Thank you. So, see one of these steel wool brushes, and be careful because they do hurt. You just go through and... You know, just scratch off the paint you've already got on. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Now, trying to think if we need to do the bottom. Maybe in case somebody's underneath it for some reason. This little piece just goes on the wall. And it's going to be super cute. Um, it'll have some spoons that are going to be bent to hold coffee cups. Yeah, in the onion bin. And they'll hold your coffee cups and then there'll be a coffee pot on the shelf right here and it's got a hole in the back for the coffee pot cord to be plugged up. And then at the top we are Put in uh, mason jars to hold the creamer and sugar and coffee. Me personally, I don't drink coffee, but there are lots of people in this world that do. So, I have no problem making a coffee station for you. I don't drink coffee or tea. But I drink a lot of Dr. Pepper. A 
lot. All right, this is looking good, y'all. I like this big part. I'm just pretty much just putting spots because I don't want, you know, all of it black. It's just needs to look old. And the black acrylic really seems to do the trick. And I don't want it to look like it was brushed on here. And that's where this thing comes in handy. Because it kind of takes the brushed effect look out. And then if it doesn't, then we'll just put more spots, cover up any brush, and then just wipe it off. My hand's tired. Not my hand, my arm. All right. All right. Bless you. We'll do this spot up here. Looks like we need more paint. I'll wipe it. Oh, that's beautiful. You know, me personally, I think white paint is just, like, ugh, boring. I just like things to look old. Could be how I was raised. My father repairs antique furniture. So, could just be something in my blood. I don't know. Like, old historic houses. Y'all, I was born and raised in Savannah, Georgia. And if you're into old historic homes, that's the place to go. They are beautiful. And we lived in one when I grew up. I have no idea when it was made because I was a child and didn't think about stuff then. But um, a while back, we lived in a historic home that was built in... 1898 and I loved it it was my most favorite home I've ever lived in except because the walls I always said oh you know the ceilings are 20 foot tall and my husband would correct me and say no they're 12 foot tall but no matter how tall they were our light bill was like a thousand dollars a month because we were just heating and cooling nothing I mean it was a waste for all that electricity just to be doing nothing but the home itself I just I love history and I love anything about history so it was just made for me I think but it had a lot of history to it the house itself started out as a courthouse for the county that we lived in. And then the courthouse sold it to like a funeral home director. So yeah, my house was a funeral home, but it wasn't haunted. So that was a good thing. But we did live next door to a funeral home. And we kind of lived <coughs> next door, bless you, next door to a jail. So people would say, uh, we're watching out this window, watching people die to get in. And then through the jail window, we're watching people die to get out. So that was just like a ongoing joke at our house. But this is looking really good. <sighs> Look at this. It's so simple to do. Scratching. I did something like this for a friend of ours on some window panes. Just wanted to make them look older so he could make it into a picture frame. And I loved doing it. It was so much fun. 
<coughs> excuse me. And I'm going to pretty much just continue to do this. So, um, so y'all don't have to watch the entire time I'm doing this. I'm just going to pause you and get working on it. And then I'll bring y'all back in. All right, guys, we're at the end now. And let me finish this piece up and I'll show you what it looks like. Get it all in the grooves. Or should I say in the grain of the wood? All right. That one's done. All right. Let me scrape it. Woo. Talk about hard work. This was hard. Alright. Let's see a couple new pieces here. Let me take care of those real quick. Alright. Here we go. Look at me. Alright. Here it is. Oh, that's heavy. Oh, you're not going to be able to see it. Let's see. <laughs> All right, there we go, the weathered look. Now it looks old. And tomorrow I'll do some painting on it, maybe write coffee station. I don't know. We'll see, stay tuned for the final finished product. All right, y'all, take care.